which is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. Uh, what I know about this land is it takes place in, okay, 1920s Paris, right? Yes. To 1990s British Ministry, <laughs> which, okay. Uh, explore international wizarding communities and the magic that connects them in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, so tell me about this. So this is the one that's probably the most tight-lipped by Universal. So we do know it's based on the 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 1920s Paris is based on the Fantastic Beasts movies. Now I okay. don't know a lot about. I didn't read those books. I haven't really. I don't think I've even seen those movies outside of a few I, clips. I haven't either. So I'm not real super familiar with that. But I do know in this land it is a 1920s replica of the streets of Paris to scale. These buildings uh, yeah. are huge. I've seen the the yeah, and very much too. A lot of people have talked about. You know how Diagon Alley is very tight. Hogsmeade is very tight. I believe this will also be kind of tight. Yeah. So it very much is very, it, consistent with that. Um, we've known for a bit there's going to be a Ministry of Magic aspect to this. We've known there's going to be some sort of Ministry of Magic ride. So that, okay. the fact that they call this Ministry of Magic in the land name, that kind of confirms that. So in the video, Molly Murphy, who's the president of Universal Creative, said... Basically, I can't reveal anything about this ride, but it's basically going to make you like, wow. Like, so they're not revealing yeah. anything about this for whatever reason. The rumors with this, there's been a lot. <laughs> At one point, there was a, a cable suspension based ride, and that you would be going, you know, up and down, sort of like elevator style, like in the Ministry of Magic. The latest one I've heard, uh, Orlando Park Stop had, had reported that they're going to be using the Spider Man ride vehicles, but that they're going to be fitted because if you if you've seen that ride it does go up and down you just don't necessarily feel it a lot when you're on that ride okay that this will give the simulation of going up and down an elevator so it's like the same oh. ride vehicles that um they can just sort of fit to this type of attraction so it's gonna have something to do with elevators yes that is the okay. that is the that's the thought here um okay. the storyline there's been a lot of rumors out there unsure of that um but that is Basically, I don't know if it's confirmed, but that's pretty well like a lot of people have thought that to be the case. Uh, they've tried. I think the original idea of this was be, for it to be trackless. And Universal has had issues trying to do trackless rides like Disney does. And and to the point where they've basically scrapped the whole idea of doing trackless. Uh-huh. And which is why they've gone to the Spider-Man type of thing here, I think. Got so, it. Uh, yeah, that, in terms of what's going to be in here, they do talk about tying it to the 1990s Harry Potter. Yeah. I have no idea how they will do that. I, okay. I don't know enough about Harry Potter. I mean, I've enjoyed the movies. You've read the books. Yep. I do know some. I'm never going to claim to be like a Harry Potter expert. So I don't know how they'll do that. But apparently this is tying those two worlds together, which does make okay. sense because the Fantastic Beasts weren't really a popular movie franchise. I don't think uh, the last. I don't think the last two movies did that well at the box office. Either. I mean, compared to the other, right? I mean, the biggest one obviously is just the original Harry Potter franchise, right? So yeah, that. But in terms of like actually knowing things, it's scarce. Um, okay. They did basically come out and say this was going to be the only attraction in the land. There has been a rumor that there's also a theater show, either separate or part of this ride. So unsure of of that, there could be a separate sort of theater attraction here as well. But there is going to be some restaurants. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, you know, you can use your wand to do certain things in the land. There'll be a lot of hidden things. But in terms of rides, it seems that for the most part, there's just going to be one at least to start. Okay. Mm-hmm.